Alrighty, so just wanted to show you guys how to replace anything on your BMW interior door for under 20 bucks uh, in tools and whatever you can get your parts for. Uh, so I picked up these from Harbor Freight, $6.99. You're able to just pry the door off. Your first steps are going to be to remove a Torx screw. One here, and one here. When looking at your door, at that angle. Um, so I went to Walmart, and you just get your Torx bit. You will be using second from the largest, T27. And then you will be using a T20. Um, so you just pull this off by hand gives you access to this screw uh, you can check out one of my other videos if it's giving you trouble but you literally start here and you work this piece of trim off and then you take your door handle off and you have to open the handle like this and pry it uh, out I uh, start here and here. It's only two clips, but you get this first clip. You're able to lift the bottom up and then you set that back in and then you pop the top of oh, the top clip out and then open the handle. It comes right out. Uh, here's your prime. So once you uh, get to that point, there's your, you got a T27 to the right, T27 or T20 to the... Yeah, anyway. You get it. There's the, for the door handle. So, you just pop all your tabs off around the side. And then, yeah. Oh. Uh, you put this... This is our nor new door handle. I already just fitted that. Um, you have to be very gentle with this clip near this. You have to be very gentle. So, so I put in the T20 already, um, and now we have the large one sticking out. Here's our handle seam. It's closing. Uh, still has room to go. But I don't recommend using a drill. I do recommend putting something cloth under it. Yeah. You get the point. No handles on. Um, be careful with the lock. It likes to flip down and hide from you. Uh, so we'll just slide this up over the top and on in. And make sure all our clips line up with our holes and press it on in. Right there. Now with our same T27.
Slide that down from the top on in. Slide your end down there. And then do some. So, there you are. That's the old handle. That's a replacement part you can buy on eBay if the inside wears out. Um, if it gets sticky and they start like scratching up. This is an aftermarket one. Uh, be careful with aftermarket stuff. It's no guarantee it's going to fit perfect. But it'll get you better than you were. Onto the driver's door.